Plum here and I am so excited that my new line of embellishments, 28 Lilac Lane, is now in stores. Specifically, the whole line is available at allenhudson.com. You can find it all there. What I've got here today, what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you a quick idea for a card when you're using a really nice sentiment to make a card. You know, what we have here, the line comes two different ways if you're looking for a variety of elements and embellishments. This is the kit, and there are 12 different kits. This happens to be autumn afternoon. The one I'm going to work with here today is Tropical Twist. And as you can see, they each have a unique set of charms. They each have trim, buttons, sequins, seed beads, and half pearls. So a wide variety of sizes, and they're all color coordinated to work within themselves, but you can also mix and match. First, I'm gonna take a W plus nine stamp. It's a sentiment, and I'm stamping it onto 110 pound Nina cardstock. This is a two and a half inch square, and I'm just going to stamp it here. I'm using the Hero, the new Hero Neon Ombre ink in red to purple absolutely love that ink and love those colors isn't that just so pretty and this stamp set is great too because it's got really fun sentiments but it's craft and art related so for all your crafty friends out there you can make cards for them so that we're just going to set aside if you wanted to you could edge with the neon ombre ink that's actually quite a bit of fun let me show you how i would do that because i like it so what i would do is just rub along here ever so slightly and then when I turn I will flip the ink pad over so that like the purple's there so now the purple is going to be on this edge closest and now the red's there so I'm, again as I turn I just keep flipping the ink pad. I poured a little bit of the Pretty Princess bottle mix as well as the sunshine into my little dish there. Um, if you're worried about you know cross contamination or you don't you know you want to be able to like dig and get at your embellishments but don't want to mix them up you know, you could always use separate dishes or just pour them out to your, onto your workspace, use a little muffin tin. There's all kinds of options that you could do when you're ready to work with them. Of course, me, I can also store them by color. So in other words, put all the pinks together, all the yellows together, all my embellishments and have them ready to go that way. But there's something about the little dishes that is just so much fun. So I've got PPA and matte finish. This is an ideal adhesive for buttons, beads, and things because it will dry completely matte finish. And I'm just pulling this out to make sure um, I am gonna use my finger a little bit here and just smudge it. I want to minimize how much adhesive I'm using, okay? But I also wanna make sure that the area is covered, basically just all the way around here. You could little, use a little brush if you wanted. Me, I don't tend to because I always forget to then wash the brush and then things end up going sideways. So once that is down, here's the really, really fun part. We are not going to worry about every single little space, but we're just going to pull different embellishments from the kit. From And this would work with absolutely any of the kits, any of the bottles, totally based off of your preferences, what colors you're working with. And I'm starting with buttons because, and you notice I'm not really worrying about if everything is super, super matched up, if everything is going just so. I'm grabbing and pulling from the kit, grabbing and pulling from my little dish here, various colors. Basically though, I am just making sure to grab buttons first and putting a good amount of beads in there. And then I'm gonna go here to my dish and I can see my little yellow, but also my pink beads. And I'm just going to kind of swoosh in here and yeah, I'll get really, really technical. And if, if some sequins come in, I'm okay with that too. So some sequins and some beads. And then what I'm gonna do is just push these out so that they go against the buttons. Now, because of how I've done this and because I've already got the liquid adhesive down, everything's going to naturally want to stick. Everything's gonna to come together. Everything's gonna to wanna to be stuck down there. And it's gonna be really easy for me to just kind of squish them all where I want them. Now it's looking pretty random right now, but trust me, this is all gonna to come together because we are just getting started on our layering. With the beads filled in, the next step that I'm gonna take is I am going to get my card and I, are, I put some adhesive on the back, some double-sided tape. But looking at this and thinking, hello, self, what was I thinking? The better way to do this is definitely going to be foam adhesive. So I'm taking off the strips on there just to uncover that. And then I'm just going to take some foam tape here. I'm going to double it up so that it's 
nice and thick and I'm just gonna put it down in the very center where I know it'll touch that cardstock base now if your paper starts to warp a little bit like mine has just a little bit of lift don't worry about that because we're gonna be able to tack that down really well plus it'll calm down once it's dry so now I'm just gonna center this up it doesn't have to be perfectly center but I want it pretty close here and I'm gonna place this and look at how already it's looking so good I love it oh my gosh this is so much fun and what I love about it is I've got so much funky fun collage going on with my buttons but at the same time it's still staying pretty clean design wise because it's an outline of buttons around my sentiment now if I wanted I could put a charm in I don't really feel like I need a charm though so my next step is going to be see more sequins and also some of the half pearls I love the half pearls because there's so many of them and I use them all the time they're just such a great little filler so I'm going in with PPA and I'm finding some spots that I feel like could use a little dimension a little a little sequin or a little something and I'm just gonna go around and add just a touch of it right on top and then what we'll do is we'll just come through here and that one could use a little more come through here with the half pearls come through here with the sequins and wherever we would like one just plop it right in and once you have adhered your card front on there and I used plenty of double-sided tape so that it would really have a really good stick there so once this is all together oh my gosh you guys I just love how this has turned out once you've got it all the way on there you can do a couple things you can go ahead and add little droplets of of adhesive and add more beads more sequins whatever you like or another option if you've got some stickles grab your stickles because here's the great thing about stickles and you can grab a couple different colors wherever I see a little spot where I think oh gee I wish there was a little pop of color right there because of the fine tip applicator, I can just pop in here and just fill in any gaps with stickles. So once we do feel all the way done, we are set. Now for me, you know, I know it's kind of an addiction of mine, but we're going to go for it anyway. I just absolutely love adding a little bit of Heidi Swap Gold Mist to projects. Shake it up, and then I like to take the top off. You could do this with any color, really. I like to do it with the gold mist and yes you can totally do this right over all of those little buttons and things too and it will stick once it's dry all right guys that is my fun card here with the new 28 lilac lane embellishments i hope you've enjoyed this video for more ideas of course you're welcome to come visit me at craftwithmay.com and check out that ellen hudson youtube channel for even more videos and ideas i'll see you next time